Materialist lifestyle, what they're trying to live, or something like that, you know, materialistic type of things, you know, because not one did you, not once did you take this money and help the homeless people that's walking around out here, or help anybody that needed help out here. Now you took this and bought our tub. Living lavishly on somebody else's dollar. That's the allegation. Three now former employees at the Memphis Academy of Health Sciences accused of stealing nearly $400,000. WREG's Janae Lewis shows us where investigators say that money went and how they allegedly got away with it for so long. For them to do something like that, it's all a money thing. People have the money. Money hungry. Mm -hmm. Money is the rule of all evil. And the root of a lengthy investigation by the Tennessee Comptroller's Office. This 14 page report says Corey Johnson, Robert Williams, and Michael Jones stole nearly $400,000 from the Memphis Academy of Health Sciences during their time in leadership roles. The report says the theft started July 2015. We only saw a posted mugshot for Corey Johnson, a former executive director of the charter school, accused of stealing more than $330,000 and using it for things like trips to Vegas, NBA tickets, and even this hot tub or his home. Robert Williams, the former finance director, is accused of stealing more than $35,000, even admitting to paying himself for things he did not deserve, according to the report. Former nutritional services director Michael Jones stole at least $25,000 and is accused of spending that on unauthorized food purchases for himself, like crab legs and lobster. It's most shocking to me that, you know, kids trying to get a good education, and you can't even do that because school members are taking money out of the school. The comptroller's office found this went on for so long because the board failed to provide adequate oversight and perform due diligence, something the school has said it will correct, and people in the community hope that's true. I'm hoping to see a change come out of all of it because, you know, you want the school system to be better than what it is. Reporting in Memphis, Janae Lewis, WREG News Channel 3. Shelby County Schools has administrative oversight only over the school and referred questions directly to the school's board. We did reach out to the Memphis Academy of Health Sciences board and also its attorney for comment, and we're still waiting to hear back.